today we're going to be taking a look at the Holy Stone HS170. I think that's what it is. We get these cobwebs out of my eyes. Here. It's over here. So there it is. HS170. And it's made in China too. Well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> there it is. It says cast fly. I guess that means it's one of them. You can toss it. You know, I don't really care about that. But anyway, let's get it out of the box and check it out. Okay, here we go out of the box. And uh, there's not a lot to it. You got the quadcopter. And there's no camera, thank goodness. I think after I do this little thing, I'll cut these prop guards off. I hate these things, but, you know, they work for some people that don't have a lot of experience. You know, they're good to keep on. If you're going to fly around in the house, they're probably pretty good for that. They give you two batteries with it, and they are, good Lord, 350s. I'll put that in there. See that? 350. Right there. 3.7 350s. So you're looking at like uh, uh, 350 for this, seven minutes, something like that. Here's your charger. It's one of them little USB deals. Uh, there's a green light on it. When you plug it in, there's a red light, and when it's done, it turns green. Here's the transmitter and the pack of stuff, you know, the spare props and the prop removal tool and the screwdriver that you need. Here's the transmitter, it has two AA batteries. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Here's an antenna, most likely it's fake because I don't see no wire going through there. I don't know why they put these on here if they, if they don't even do nothing. Why waste the money making them? You know what I mean? What, I mean, what's the point? of having these things if they're not even going to do anything i don't get it uh here's the trim buttons over here 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 we go with the flips the rates um at headless mode and take off and land so that's pretty simple stuff and here's the on and off switch right here so yeah there's really not a lot to it you plug the battery in here it has this little you don't just try to pull the battery out. Sometimes it has these little teeth on this little thing right here. here. Let me turn it around here. See this little thing right here? It's like a press fit thing. You got to make sure you pull that out or bend this down. It makes it a lot easier to pull the battery out and put it in. So, yeah. So you want to bend that back a little bit when you're pulling the battery out. It makes it easier. There might be a couple of lights on there. Let me see real quick. Getting this battery plugged in ain't always the easiest thing either. Yeah, here's some lights on it right here. On the front, you got a couple of little eyeballs. And in the back, you got the red ones. So... Yeah, that looks good. Let's go out and fly it, right? That's what really matters. All right, guys, we got the Holy Stone out here. Now, I did the level calibration already. That's down and to the left. So we just want to fly it, see how it flies, and get a load of the battery life. I'll put the little timer in there and see what happens. Well, it takes off pretty quick. Let's check the rates. Three rates. Now I left the prop guards on for this uh, for this test. I wanted to. It's been a while since I did that thing on the table, but I wanted to wait till the wind. I wanted to do this fly it outside you know what I mean I didn't want to do it in the house so I mean I know it'll fly good in the house but I wanted to see how it would fly outside here so it's been really windy for the last couple of weeks actually but I mean that doesn't affect beast mode or anything like that but uh, it'll affect this this is not uh, 
This is not beast mode. This thing flies great, man. Look at it go. Wow. Great stuff. Let's try the flips out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Now, I'm not going to push the range on this thing. I mean, you know, 100 feet or so is going to be what you're looking at here. I don't care what they say on the box. I really didn't pay attention to what they said on the box as far as range, but something like this, you're probably looking at like 100 feet at, at the top. Man, it really is smooth on the controls, man. Really smooth on the sticks. Wow. Very impressive. Very nice. Big thumbs up on this on this bird, no doubt. Oh yeah. Flies great. Drifting around a little bit. Okay, that seemed to take it out of there a little bit. Yes, it did. A little bit of trim. Indeedy. Nice. Oh yeah, this is great fun. Oh yeah, battery life is real good too. I got a spectator over here to the left. There's a mulching area back there behind me. People go down there and get mulch and stuff like that. It's back down over that hill there. Let's try a couple more flips. Up. Oh. The flips are out. The lights are flashing, I believe. Yeah. The lights are flashing. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of that. The um, Holy Stone. I forgot the, the number on it since it was been a month since I did the uh, table thing. The 870 or I don't know, something like that. And there it is. Hee-haw. <laughs> you may never see it again. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.